Hello, it's Cher and your guitar guide helping you find your sound. And today, if you want to learn I Fall to Pizzas by Patsy Klein, that's coming up. Welcome, thanks for coming to the Your Guitar Guy channel, where I'm going to help you find your sound with guitar lessons, music, and gear reviews. So if this is your first time here, have a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and consider subscribing for more guitar tips and tricks. And don't forget to click the bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And for all of you that have already subscribed, thanks for supporting the channel. Today I'm going to teach you an iconic song by Patsy Cline, and the guitar lesson is called... I Fall to Pieces, Beginner Guitar Lesson. There's a couple of bar chords that are in this, but don't shy away from them, because even though you use a capo on some songs, you're still going to have to play bar chords, because that's just the way the cookie crumbles. On this song, let's zoom in and learn I Fall to Pieces by Patsy Cline. You'll notice that we've got a capo on the first fret. And the chords that we're going to play are A. E7, D, F, E, and an E. Those are the chord shapes. I'll show you two different ways to strum this. It's an easy strumming pattern. It's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. And then I'll show you how to put some walk-ups on it and make it more country. It starts off on A with a slow tempo. Ah, fall, D, E7. And then it's... So we're on the F, which is 7th fret from the capo. We're playing an F, an E, and a D. E7, A. A. So that's how we're going to strum it. When it goes to the second part of the song where it's You allow me to act like we never kissed You want me Then we're going to play an E. of the song is E, A. So if you want to make it more cowboyish, this is how we're going to do it. We're still starting out with the A, but we're going to put some little walk-ups to it. So it's... What that is, everything is from the capo, so it's fret 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here we go. We're 
on the fifth string at the fourth fret. Pick that and then open D string, which is the fourth string. Second fret on the D string. Open D string. Strum. So after you pick the open D string, strum, A string, strum, go to the E7, pick the 6th string, strum the E7, the open A string, strum, D string, strum, back to the A string and then it's an open E string. Open E, 2nd fret of the E string, 4th fret of the E string, open A string. So here's what we've got all together. the uh, seventh fret from the capo playing it like you would a B chord move up half a step and then go to the D you get to the D it's a open D string strum open A string strum E seven so you're picking the open E String, strum on the E7 and then the A string strum and then open A string strum D string strum back to the A string and then it's open E string open E second fret of the E string fourth fret of the E string open A string And the part where it's, you want me to act like you never do. You want me. We're going to play an E. To da, 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 A. Da, da, D. E. Heaven yet. A. You won't find D. E. And it goes like this. Back to the beginning. And then the second verse begins. If you found this lesson interesting and you liked it, can you give me a thumbs up? Click the like button. Share it with your friends. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you know anyone who wants to learn guitar, have them subscribe to this channel. And I thank you ahead of time. Don't forget to watch that video right there.